So, yeah. Uh, this is the last bus to Panjim from Margaon. It's going, it's going via Ponda, which is a roundabout circuitous route. And uh, since I'm not in any hurry, I decided to hop on it. This is uh, a Kadamba State Run Eco Electric Bus Service. Uh, while coming, I jumped on another similar bus. Uh, it cost the taxpayer something like uh, 2 crores 35 to 2 crores 40 lakhs, which is uh, 23 to 24 million rupees. And uh, yeah, the, the, the ticket of the bus is just uh, something like 45 to 50 rupees for this uh, 30 to 40 kilometers ride, which is nothing in that sense, which is a nominal figure. Now added to it, the bus is not very full, so you can imagine the kind of drain it's having. Uh, on the checker, I mean it's a good service, I am all for extending late night bus services to Goa but it needs to be done in a way which is a bit viable and sustainable. So at this point it's about 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. at night and uh, Goa is very sleepy and uh, quiet. You can see it outside there. We have reached the junction uh, Okay, uh, and the bus has it's it's back on the highway on the on the Margaon Panjim Highway. I'm, I'm a bit lost here, but uh, just to have a look at the bus, you can see. So the Kalamba staff is sitting in the front of the bus and they are discussing politics on which politician will get which post, ministership or chairmanship and uh, yeah, tell me what you think about this service, have you travelled in it, uh, what could be done to make it more efficient and more more sustainable for the taxpayer for the for the exchequer because obviously this uh, huge bus maybe 40 seater has got at least 7 to 10 passengers in it as of now and i don't think uh, that's a very sustainable way of doing it i've been a great fan of uh, late night bus services i think it's very important people need to reach home and uh, the last bus on the Margaon to Panjim route is at about 9.15 or 9.30 p.m. Which, which is not very late. You need more buses but may not be this plush and this big buses. Okay. Yeah. So, so... We are at the Famagudi circle if you can see something outside. And the engineering college is to our left. To our left and uh, we are on actually I got it wrong, we are on the Ponda to Panjim Highway, still some of the new educational infrastructure and things like that come up here, probably if I am not wrong. College of Pharmacy, College of Pharmacy, so, okay. So in, in, in the last bus uh, when, when we were coming from uh, Panjim to Bargao a couple of hours earlier I asked these guys what's the cost of this bus so they told me it's about uh, 2 lakh, 2 crore, 2 crore 40 lakh which is 24 million rupees and they also said that the batteries are high, high cost maintenance uh, they need to be replaced every 3 years or so 
that's true with other electric vehicles and they were talking about how much uh, car and uh, scooter and motorcycle b- electric batteries would cost to replace in the range of 35000 rupees every 3 years so so the maintenance element is there it's supposed to be pollution free and things like that though so ng uh, electric energy is also causing pollution when it is produced so we will not see it uh, emerging from the from from the rear end of the bus uh, there is some pollution cost elsewhere those those who know the subject better could probably comment and let us know the roads are very plush at this point but uh, after the monsoons again you'll find that we uh, are in bad state and they need repairs and uh, you know these buses are functioning very very smoothly now on the on the on the tarmac hot mix roads and there has been a lot of road widening uh, done in goa of late to the to the ire of the local villagers in whose case in some of whose cases the houses have got affected